the good one. Uh, here we go. Universe. Feel me, inspire me. Give me your words. It's good, I'm in frame. Yeah. Tell me, fam. The damn lightning frame. <laughs> what? Damn light. Okay, there we go. Good. You ready? Hey, man. All right. What's going on, world? This is Billy B coming from BillyEmpire.com. I'm here with a very special guest today. I am in the studio, in the Billy, the Billy studio right now with one of my, my brothers. Been knowing him about almost 20 years now. Uh, we go back all the way back to UW Parkside. Uh, this man has went off and ventured off into other cities and doing great things in music. Uh, he's a, a spiritual guy. It's me and I talk to him about different things or two. Uh, he has a very good, a keen perspective on life. This is my good friend Trix. How you doing, sir? Man, blessed, brother. How about you? I'm, I'm blessed too. Holly Fiber, as you say. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? By the most high. Yes. Our. So, um, you know, you know what we're here for, Billy. We're talking about entrepreneurship and, uh -huh. and going, getting to the Billy your way. So, um, let's dig into why we why we here. All right. So, sure. tell the people like who you are. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I'm Tricks, um, Torian Little, mm -hmm. uh, blessed. Mm -hmm. I am highly favored. Um, I'm a son, brother, um, father, uh, producer, curator. Mm -hmm. um, so creative. So where did you go to school at? Are you from Milwaukee? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, born in, and partly raised for sure. Yeah, was, um, what elementary school did you go to? I um, went to Garden Homes Lutheran. What yeah. middle school you went to? I went to Garden. I saw. I went to Garden Homes Lutheran from okay uh, through eighth school to eighth grade. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So when you went to high school? Wisconsin Lutheran. Wisconsin, we all yeah. Lutheran. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lutheran that thing out. Yeah, man, for real. So very, what? very interesting. Uh, you know, uh, experiences and and you know grooming. In, in those type of environments, for sure. So what was there that, that you felt um, helped groom you into the, mm. the gentleman that's sitting in front of me right now? So what what was, what was happened there that made you, you know, who to who you are or curated you into? Uh, well, I'd say just, you know, the type of exposure that you get from going to uh, that type of school, like, you know, just the area of focus, um, what you learning about, you know, theology mm -hmm. and uh, the Lutherans, the Lutherans way or idea of God. Mm -hmm. um, you know, um, it was really interesting, man. Uh, it was my, it was really my first time that I can remember in this lifetime, at least being exposed to that many and that type of white people. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, uh, just be honest, you know, uh, you know, a different, um, really, man, it was a traumatic type of experience, you know, to, so it was bad. Well, I'm not going to say it was bad, but, you know, it's traumatizing to go from being in a, in a structured environment with mostly people that look, sound, and think like you, mm -hmm. you know, uh, shoot, who are you, mm -hmm. to going into an environment of individuals who look, sound, and think totally different than you. Right. right. And they, they're me too in a way, cause they're human, but you know, it's totally different. And that, and that, and that experience was, like I said, it was, it was, it could be, tra it was traumatizing because um, you, you go from, you know, 
your ideas uh, being received and looked at a certain way mm -hmm. to me feeling like I was on an island in terms of how I communicated and how I connected mm -hmm. with individuals immediately. So it was it was different for sure. Well, did you did you face uh, racism there or did yeah. you a yeah. lot? Okay. Hell yeah. Uh, like when I first um, when I first got there, um, I know I didn't. I can't remember to be honest, thinking about it that much, but mm -hmm. I know that, um, I know like there were moments that, you know, okay, it was clearly like, oh yeah. So for example, I remember I was in English class and we was reading like Huckleberry Finn or something like that. Mm -hmm. And I can remember, so I was the only uh, black person in the class for sure. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And when we was reading, uh, before we started reading, I remember the English teacher saying something to the nature like, yo, we gonna read this story and there may be some words that might offend certain people. Now, I had never read Huckleberry Finn, so I didn't mm -hmm. know what she was talking about. Mm -hmm. But she was like, you know, it might be words that might offend certain individuals. And when we get to that word, we just gonna skip over it. Mm -hmm. So, okay, we reading, you know what I'm saying? And I say nigger in it, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And so when they got to the word nigger, they, they stopped, but everybody looked at me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it was like, mm -hmm. like they ain't say it, but they, they, you know what I'm saying? They still acknowledged who the nigger was in the room. So I can remember how this was like, hey, he, he wrote it, so we might as well say this shit. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So that was just my perspective, like nigga, Ain't no need of skipping over it. Y'all y'all still reading it. You looking right at it. So we sure. might as well say it. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, things of that, of that nature, uh, you know, um, a lot of, you know, if they smell weed, they just assumed it was on me. And I ain't smoked no, I ain't smoked no weed. So I was grown, mm -hmm. you know? So, you know, it was things, uh, you know, that you really just experienced. Uh, like I was the first person to come to my school, uh, to the school dance with, Dookie zone, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, or Air Force One, mm -hmm. uh, and I didn't even know I was like breaking the school dress code. Like if I came, shoot, I seen my cousins and them going to school dances at King and and the high schools they was going to. Mm -hmm. It was, you know what I'm saying, jeans and, and sh tennis shoes, you know, down. So I didn't know that these dances were more formal, as they like to call it, or at the time at least. So when I when I got fitted. Mm -hmm. for the school dance like shoot I came I know how right. we come you know what right. I'm saying and I sh sent the shockwaves to the whole school coming to the dance like that and like they wasn't finna let me in and stuff like that and it was like the music stopped when I came in mm. and shoot I was the first person ever I didn't know to yeah. come to my high school you know yeah. what I'm saying and gym attire family as, as they say it but gym attire hey after that you know what I'm saying that was the the next one, they, they, uh, you know, or they, they enforce the rule. No, or, or they, leave, they, uh, they, uh, they, they actually start letting people, cause more people requested that they could, you know, they, they start asking, could they yeah. wear tennis shoes too, like white boys and all of that, man. Yeah. So, yeah, it happened with me, fam. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So now, now people out there, they, they don't know you as, as. Oh, they probably do know you, or people that just not tuning in. Mm -hmm. Now they understand that uh, you are a producer. Yeah. And yeah. um, so, what made you fall in love with music? What, mm -hmm. what were you listening to? What, what was the, what was the song, or what back in your past? And you like, I want to do this forever. Like, I want to, I want to, I want to make it a career out of making music for people. Um. Well, I always love music. I'm sure, like. 